Hello and welcome to my Torah Corner. Please take a few moments to read my full disclaimer in the description box. This is a Torah reading. It is vibrational and it is open to interpretation. It exists as assumption and speculation and as such may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourselves. So this is a reading that uh, I was uh, requested to do uh, by an email from one of my subscribers. And I keep asking you not to ask questions on the com comments, but to send me an email because uh, once I uh, see your comment, uh, it's gone, and then it's very hard for me to uh, to locate it. So the best way to ask me a question is to uh, write me an email. So uh, as I was saying, this uh, reading is about a question that a few questions that I received by email from one of my subscribers, and she wanted me to check. Uh, on how did Harry feel when he uh, saw his grandmother? Did he see her frail situation? Did he feel that he's to blame for it? Uh, what, what, what was he feeling when he was meeting his grandmother and his father after so long? So what I'm going to do, and this is why I'm using this deck, it is a nine card spread, which is quite a big spread, uh, which is a general spread, uh, but it is um, investigating uh, the elements, the air elements, which is the thoughts, the fire element, which is the passion or the creativity, the earth element, which is the practical aspects, and the water element, which is the emotion. So this is the Aquarian tarot that comes in a, in a tin, and that is why it is uh, smaller than the usual tarot decks. Okay, so I'm going to start by clearing the deck. Okay, so how did Harry feel when he saw his grandmother and his father after so long? One card flipped here. Uh, what was he thinking? What was he feeling? What were his thoughts and uh, uh, desires when he saw his grandmother and his father after so long? So, the first card shows us the present situation or the, pre uh, or the present as it is. And what I'm getting is the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles, that's a card that speaks about a fake conflict. Uh, this card speaks about being in this kind of energy of uh, having to, uh, to decide between two options, but you actually know exactly what you uh, decided to do. So if there was this fake conflict for Harry on whether or not to go and see his grandmother, uh, it was a fake conflict. Uh, he really knew exactly what he was doing. He knew why he was doing that. This is about a um, self-destruction in a way. This is about tendency to do the wrong thing. Uh, if you do the right thing, then you end up with the three of pentacles, which is a good card. But if you do the wrong thing, then you do not get to that stage. Uh, so this is about burning bridges and searching for problems, even if there aren't any. So this is uh, the present situation. Harry knew exactly what he was doing. This was, in a way, part of his burning bridges uh, 
um, expedition since he left the royal family. This is a, this was a fake conflict. He knew exactly why he was going to see the queen and what he wanted to achieve from that. Okay, so the next card shows us Harry's strength. And his strength is the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is the uh, queen who is adventurer. That's the archetype of a person like a Scorpio who is uh, changing all the time. Someone who has tendency to destroy in order to to build. And I got this card with him uh, in regard to that meeting and uh, in the, my previous reading. So it looks like uh, that, he, that is his strength in that meeting, that he doesn't care about burning bridges. He doesn't care about um, uh, about uh, destroying his relationship with his family. In his mind, it is for building a new future for himself. So he is not uh, afraid to break convention. Uh, in his mind, this is about resentment, about vengeance. He is so uh, uh, so angry at his family that he would do anything to hurt them. And that is his strength, his, in, his uh, ability in his mind to destroy and to burn the bridges behind him. So this is his strength. So what is his weakness? And his weakness is the hermit. Okay, so the Hermit, that's a very spiritual card. It is a major arcana. And this card speaks about uh, the, uh, some, the going all the way to find the truth. Now, this is his weakness. So we need to look at the negative aspects of this card. And when the Hermit is in the negative aspects, we see someone who is... a uh, needing solitude, uh, procrastinating, waiting for things to happen without actually doing anything and letting others decide for him. For him. And we got that in previous readings as well. Uh, Harry lets Megan decide everything. She's the one who decides uh, everything around uh, what they are doing. And he actually is not searching for the truth. He's not looking inside himself for the truth. This, because this is his weakness, he lets Megan do the decisions for him. He procrastinates and he uh, is waiting for things to happen by themselves. Okay, so the, the next card is the air energy, which is Harry's thoughts while he was a uh, uh, mental thoughts while he was meeting his grandmother and father, and we get the moon card. Why? I mean, this is so um, uh, obvious because the moon card is the moon, moon, mother card. So uh, this is another card. Uh, uh, this is a card that speaks about the need to talk about things. But it, this is also the card that speaks about uh, an um, emotional problems. So in his mind, he was thinking about his mother, about everything that his mother suffered from his father, about him, his uh, uh, need to defend his mother and his mother's name. And this card just shows that he was completely uh, confused and helpless. This is just showing us that he is in dire need for mental health therapy, and he is not actually getting that uh, the 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 mental help help that he needs. What he's getting is not what he needs, not something that will help him go further on with his life. So this is what was occupying his thoughts. His mother, the way that his mother was treated by the royal family, and the, the fact that he is 
uh, actually uh, blaming the royal family and his family for what happened to his mother. So this is what occupied his thoughts. The next card is the fire card, which is the card that shows uh, his passions and his... Uh, uh, creativity. So what was his passion when he was meeting the queen? And we get the five of pentacles. So the five of pentacles, that another card that we've been, we've been receiving quite a lot with him, with the Sussexes lately. And this is a card that speaks about a um, about destruction and failure that comes because of the way that they acted while they were in the Four of Pentacles uh, uh, energy. So they are acting out of feeling threatened and they are adhering to what they have. And this leads to destruction and failure. So this just shows us that he has no passion, no creativity. If we uh, get a very bad card in this, uh, in the fire department, in the creativity department, it just shows that there is no creativity here, that this is a real loss. This is a very difficult place because of the undealt problems while they were in the Four of Pentacles energy. This is about a, a self-destruction, this is about betrayal, tendency to outburst, a refrain from a self-restraint, and tendency to lose a money, to lose a love, and to uh, lose his family. So this is another card that speaks about burning bridges behind him, and uh, it looks like uh, the fire in him just called him to, just caused him to outburst. Now, there is a, um, something that I got by Twitter yesterday, and I'm going to try and post it in the community post, uh, that is a, a very detailed uh, description of that meeting. And in that description, they say that Meghan was actu actually didn't meet either the Queen or Prince Charles. She was led to uh, a separate room and was there with a, a footman who guarded her and refreshments, and that Harry himself met with the Queen for an hour, which was quite a, a quiet meeting, and then he had this meeting with his father that lasted uh, 15 minutes and was very loud, was very emotional, and after 15 minutes, uh, Charles just broke out and left. So I'll try to post that uh, in the description box, uh, in the um, community uh, section of my uh, of my channel, so uh, later on after I finish this reading. So this is his, this, this is the fire department, okay? So this is the uh, creativity or the lack of it. Now we're looking at the earth energy or the uh, practical aspects and we get the five of swords. So that's another five. And five are a uh, uh, always cards of communication. The Five of Swords is also about communication because swords is air and air is communication. Uh, but the Five of Swords is actually a card that says do not sit on the fence. Be uh, be um, uh, uh, don't be uh, passive, be active. So in the practical aspects, uh, this was what he was thinking about, the need to be active, although his tendency is to be passive, to procrastinate, as we saw in the Two of Pentacles, as we saw with the Moon card, his tendency is to procrastinate and wait for things to happen by themselves. But this card actually tells him that he needs to be more active and start doing things and not wait for uh, things to happen by themselves. But this card also shows that he's afraid of being hurt. He's not taking chances. He is not satisfied from what he has. And he has this tendency to look for someone who will 
make the choices for him. And as we saw with the hermit card, he's letting Megan do all the work, all the choices. He lets her decide. And this is exactly what the Five of Swords is talking about. So the, in the practical aspects, he knows that he has to be more active, but he cannot be. This is what this card means. And the next card is the water energy, which are the feelings. So how was he feeling? And we get the page of pentacle, uh, the page of rods, which is the page of wands. And the page of wands is the eternal student. This is someone who, or the archetype of a person who never is satisfied with what he has. He's always jumping from one bandwagon to another bandwagon. So his emotions were that he uh, is uh, wandering around. He uh, is not finding the thing that actually excites him. He's not satisfied with anything. He is jumping from one thing to another because he never finds something that really excites him and interests him. So this is what the page of wands is all about, and this is what he feels. Okay, so the last, the eighth card in this reading is what can we see in the past? And in the past, we see the fool. Okay, the fool, that's the energy or the archetype of the person who is just beginning his uh, journey. He is someone who, uh, once again, uh, values his freedom very much, and we saw that he is valuing his freedom from his family. He's taking risks without the obligations. He's reckless, he's hasty, and once again, this is another card that speaks about burning bridges. This is a card about that speaks about frustration, something that cannot be obligated obtained, uh, someone who ignores reality, ignores obstacles, and because of that, he has no regard to the price that he has to pay, to so the price that he's paying uh, because of his burning bridges from his family. So this is what this card uh, is all about, and this is in the past. And so the last card is what can we see for the future? And and for the future, we see the King of Wands. So that's another card of someone who is uh, only good at beginnings, but not at endings. He's not, doesn't know how to end things that he started. Someone who is very good, is the initiator. He's very good in starting things. He doesn't know how to and then um, someone who is uh, very irritated, someone who gets angry very, uh, very uh, easily. And this is what we see for the future. This is what uh, will happen for him in the future. He will never be able to finish what he starts. He uh, is, will go on being very irritated all the time, angry all the time, impatient, and losing interest in things that he started, and because of that, not finishing anything. Okay, so this is the tarot, and now I'm going to take an oracle card from the Quantum of the Oracle, because... As I usually say, I like this deck. It has uh, many depths into it. So let's see what does the Quantum of the Oracle has to say about Prince Harry's feelings when he met his grandmother and his father. So I'm cleaning the cards. And I just want to say something about 
asking the question. Uh, you need to ask the question as many times as you feel that is needed to enter the questions into the cards. Now, some people say that it irritates them that I keep uh, repeating the question, but this is how I read. If you don't like that, then you must go to someone else who reads tarot. But I am repeating the question as much as I feel like it. Uh, the question has entered the cards. Okay, so... Harry's feelings when he saw his grandmother and his father. Harry's feelings when he saw his grandmother and his father. Okay, so the first card is fear. So he was afraid, whether he was afraid that he will be a, a he will be uh, losing his title, uh, afraid that he will not get the inheritance that he thinks that he deserves. But I don't know what exactly he was afraid about, but he was feeling fear. And the next card is fragmented energy. So his energy is fragmented. He does not feel whole. Something is missing. As, as you can see here, something is missing in where his heart is, where the heart is. So something is, is feelings in the way that he is uh, he, as, a, as a human being is missing and his energy is fragmented. So this is it for this reading. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, write me an email if you need to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.